Evie, not every coffee mix contains real milk. You've got to be aware of that. Did you know that uh, the brand I'm going, to, I'm going to talk about actually contains real cow's milk with all its nutrients and it's uh, as well as one of the best grades of coffee in the world? I'm talking of Cowbell Coffee. It's Ghana's number one coffee milk drink with its rich, delicious taste and exciting aroma. It's a smooth blend of nutritious Cowbell milk and very high quality coffee with a touch of sweetness. Everything you need for your breakfast can be taken any time of day as your beverage. Just pour Cowbell coffee milk in a cup, add hot water, stir. Enjoy. Simple. It comes in both sachet, sachet and uh, 400 gram tin. Always insist on the original Cowbell coffee milk. Look out for the Cowbell inscription on the sachet or the tin. Remember, there is no substitute for your favorite Cowbell coffee milk. Cowbell coffee, the original coffee milk drink. If you don't have money, you can't buy coffee. If you don't have money, you can't do so many things. Up next is a conversation on how to plan your financial independence, your financial freedom with a couple of keys, basic keys, but you've got to have the discipline to deal with them. That's our conversation coming up. Money Matters right here on Hard Talk on GH1 TV. Stay with us. Okay, we'll give you a chance to also call and ask your questions to my guest, who is currently the head of financial planning for Ecobank Securities, Wealth and Asset Management. And he also doubles up as the head of business development for Assets Management Business, EDC, in Ghana. He's a board member of the EDC Ghana Balanced Fund, which is the biggest balanced fund in the country. He's been pivotal in successfully developing a number of collective investment schemes, so he knows what his money is all about. He holds a BCom from the University of Cape Coast and an MBA from the uh, University of Ghana Business School that's in finance. So he's currently a lecturer, so he teaches money as well. He's an author and writer, written for several magazines and publications, author of four books, including um, um, one that I read, uh, and uh, it really changed um, the way I thought about money, Paul Kofi Mante. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Good morning to you, Kofi, and good morning to our wonderful viewers. What exactly is financial independence or financial freedom? <clears throat> financial independence or financial freedom is getting to a stage where you can sustain your desired lifestyle without salary. Getting to a stage in life where you can sustain your desired lifestyle without salary. Meaning getting to a stage where you work because you want to work. You don't work because you need to work. Getting to a stage where you can use your life to do fulfilling things that may not necessarily be financially rewarding. So you, you get to a stage where you are free when, so far as money is concerned. So when we talk about financial freedom or financial independence, that's basically what we're talking about. I, I pulled up this definition, and I, I, I think it kind of syncs with exactly what you're yeah. saying. It's a definition of financial freedom. It's going to come up on the screen mm -hmm. right now, and it has to do with the ability to live the lifestyle that you want you know, without the need to work or, or, or be dependent on others. Yeah. Does that capture it? Yes, it, it captures it. So it, it gets to a point you are free. Mm -hmm. Money is not a problem. Mm -hmm. You don't work for money. You don't need to work for money. In fact, you can devote your life in helping de uh, deprive schools, communities, teaching. You are a doctor. You can decide to go to the villages and help. Because at that point, money is not a motivation. And you know you are very well sorted. Mm -hmm. you know. Why is financial freedom or financial independence important? We're going to be using these change inter yes. ch terms interchangeably. Why is it so important? Uh, well, I think that it's even more important for us, I mean, at, at two levels, the individual level and the national level. Um, the last time I checked the Forbes list of billionaires, when you look at on that, th that list of billionaires, number one up to 100, on that list, there is only one person from Africa. I think I know who he is. He's from Niger. He's from Niger. Mm -hmm. Aliko Dangote. Mm -hmm. Number one up to 200, there is still only one from Africa. Still Aliko Dangote. Mm. What is the point I want to make here? The point I want to make here is, look, this is something we need to discuss at the national level. We need to learn to create wealth within. We, we need to learn to empower Ghanaians. We need to have more Ghanaians becoming financially uh, independent. And people can volunteer the, the rest of their lives to do things that will help all of us. So uh, we, we can look at that at a national level, but the individual level, it gives you freedom. 
to do the things you want to do. You, you don't wake up in the morning rushing because somebody says you should rush. You, take, you have control over your life when you are financially independent. Uh, and look, money is important. And it's a fact. Money gives you the ability to do more things. And more things means more things. <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> yes, and it simply means more things. <laughs> money will give you access to better healthcare facilities. Money will give you access to better educational opportunities. I even understand money can make marriage better. There's less complaining. <laughs> less complaining about <laughs> exactly. the necessities. Exactly. <laughs> so the point is, money is important, and we need to appreciate the fact that money is important. Mm. And there is nothing wrong with aiming to become financially free, become financially independent. Why are many people not financially independent or financially free? I, I think that, one, um, people are not conscious about the fact that it is possible to be financially free or financially independent. So most people never take that decision. It won't happen overnight. It's not going to happen in two years, in three years. That's not what we're saying here. I will normally tell um, uh, uh, people I talk to that if you want financial freedom, you should be looking at between five and 20 years. Between five and 20 years for anybody, the average Joe, the plumber, the teacher, the broadcaster, whoever, between five and 20 years, Everybody can be financially free, can attain financial independence. Most people don't because we never make that choice at any point in time that I want to be financially independent. And, and I think that's where it, it begins. So somebody is watching and is thinking, okay, great stuff, great definition. Okay, yeah. five years, yeah. at least I, yeah. I can get on the road to financial freedom. Yeah. Now the key, the, key, the key question is, how do you do this? How do you go from wherever you are now to, in at least five years, being yeah. free yeah. financially? Thank you, Kaf. Um, there are a number of things we could look at. We, we, we will discuss what we can within the time we have. Mm -hmm. But I think the starting point is that decision. Today, 23rd April, mm -hmm. 2018, mm -hmm. if you've never made that decision, you need to make that decision today. Mention your name and say that I want to be financially independent. Mm -hmm. And let today be a point of reference. Let it be the beginning of your journey towards financial independence. So I think that the first thing is a decision that... Why is it important to declare it and put your name in that declaration? Because you become more conscious about it. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody who has made a decision to be financially independent, when the salary hits the account, they know what must be done next. In fact, most of the people, and there are several ways of doing that, one way of doing it is through investment. And almost everybody who is doing that through investment, who is a salaried worker, has a standing order on their account. So when the money hits your account, it Immediately, goes Immediately, exactly. Mm -hmm. Because the salary would never be enough for anybody. But if you have not made that decision, immediately money comes into your account or you have money in your pocket, money will tell you what to do because you haven't planned for it. If you don't plan for money, money will tell you what to do with it. If you plan for money, you tell money what it should do. Mm -hmm. In other words, if you don't plan for it, you work for money. You become a slave to money. If you make the choice and you are deliberate about it, money works for you. You don't work for money. And um, I know we are a very religious country. You know, mm -hmm. there is a, there's a scripture. I think Proverbs 20 through 7. The Bible says, the rich rule over the poor. <laughs> and the borrower is a servant to the lender. Yeah, indeed. The rich rule over the poor, and the borrower is a servant to the lender. So I think the beginning point is that decision that needs to be made. And I made that decision in 2006. And I've tracked my progress from that point up to today. And I gave myself some uh, timelines on where I want to get to at what point in time. So it's the beginning. That is the first thing that needs to be done. A decision needs to be taken that I want to embark on this journey. And then it starts from there. Okay, so you've decided, you've put your name in that declaration, yeah. you want to be financially independent, and you have to put a timeline on it? Yes. How, why is that important? <clears throat> because it gives you reference, mm. and it helps you measure your progress. The beautiful thing about this is it's your own timeline. Mm. So if you give yourself five years, mm. and you became financially free in 10 years, so what? Mm. It's your decision. Mm -hmm. And... For people who make that decision, I think the first 
one of the most important targets for everybody watching this program is you should have a target on when your the return on your investment or your money that comes from passive income not salary when it will overtake your salary mm. so let's say you have a salary of 5k you need to be you need to have a target on when you want to have return on your investment or money not coming from salary overtaking that 5k it must be more than the 5k exactly mm -hmm. so that if the 5k salary disappears exactly that money is coming in for exactly you. Okay. exactly exactly most people have not thought about this and i keep asking this question and i will ask again this morning if you lost your job today 23rd april 2018 how many weeks how many months how many years can you survive and live your normal life without salary that's a big question. Yes. And for me, the average worker, you must have at least a six-month income cover. Mm -hmm. You must have some six-month equivalent of how much you are spending every month in some investment somewhere. If the worst should happen, you know that in the next six months, you can still take life easy and live a normal life and put um, yourself together again and then bounce back. So the, the first thing is that decision needs to be taken. I think another important thing is you need to plan your finances. You need to sit down and ask yourself, how old am I today? What do I have so far as finances are concerned? Where do I want to get to? Another 5, 10, 15, 20 years. And how do I get there? That is financial planning. And that is exactly what we started doing in, the, in my business. So you need to plan. And for me, there are five important areas of planning. Let me have them. One. Whether you like it or not, you retire one day. Mm -hmm. And you need to plan for your retirement. Even if you're 25? Even if you're 25. In fact, the day you start work, you need to start planning for your retirement. Um, there is a quotation from John Ruskin, who says, and it's in one of my books, who says that a person has but one youth. And considering the consequences of employing that well, he has a reason to think himself rich. But for that gone, all the world in the world cannot purchase another. So you need to plan. You need to plan because money is irrational. Money does not think. Money does not go to the person who needs it most. Mm. Money will not come to you because you are a poor man. Money will not come to you because you are sick and you need money to go to the hospital. Money only goes to those who are deliberate who attract it so plan for your retirement that's number so one plan for your retirement what, they, what about if you're 46 is it too late plan for your retirement plan for if, your retirement if you are 55 plan, plan for, for your, your retirement. retirement okay if you are 58 plan for your retirement okay the good thing is the younger you are the easier it is okay but still because plan even if you are 55 plan. 56 still plan i'll give you an example i have a client and we took this up at age 51 he retired last year at age 51 he's retired at the moment he makes monthly interest of 60k fantastic on interest interest and this is not snitch money this is something he did with echo bank on the side we we decided to plan for retirement he makes 60k every month and you know what he's on retirement but now he says that guys pay thirty thousand into my account every month so he's on retirement but he's put himself on a salary mm. out of his investment 60, yeah. and he's taking 30k Every so month. a thousand a day. A thousand a day. That yeah. is his target mm -hmm. to spend a thousand a day. Mm -hmm. So plan for your retirement. Okay. You. It doesn't matter your age. You're already at a crossroad. So plan. Plan. Key two. You key. And that key two. Mm -hmm. So we. I mentioned four, five areas. Five keys, One yeah. is retirement. Mm -hmm. Two is housing. Okay. You need to plan for your housing. If you don't live in your own house, if you pay rent in a part of the world, it's extremely difficult to find the money to exactly. invest. Exactly. One year, two years advance. Exactly. And uh, people will borrow money to pay the rent. <laughs> and it, it's so complicated. Make the it's landlord a, rich. It's a, a rat race. Mm -hmm. By the time you finish paying the loan, your rent is up and you take another loan and you pay. Mm -hmm. So I say that, look, if you can never rent. Mm -hmm. the, complication and the problem with a lot of people is we confuse dream house with first house so a young person wants to build the first house and they are looking at a five bedroom house a seven bedroom house you start you will never finish it's the moesha syndrome man you <laughs> that's a topic for another <laughs> the lines are open so give us a call you, you will never finish dreams, yeah. yes so i am saying that three bedroom house mm. simple mm. 
Anybody who has a land who decides to build a three-bedroom house within five years you can, can build do that. It. Number three, plan for your children's education. Okay. And make sure that you push them through education to the level you want them to get to. Mm -hmm. Be deliberate about it. Last week I had a, a, somebody come into my office. We started planning for his children about three years ago. And the last one who is three years has 46K already sitting there sitting there mm. and we are building on that okay. towards college education all right the fourth area of planning is planning to give back to society okay life is not all about you your wife and children life is also about impacting life and making the lives of other people better you have no idea the number of potential doctors who are selling on our streets mm. the number of engineers architects who are selling toughies and uh, uh, toilet roll and all that in traffic. So plan to give back to society. Invest into those people. Yes, and the last area of planning is also plan for high life. Plan to enjoy life. Of course. Plan to blow time. <laughs> <laughs> so your money must be even budgeted for relaxation. So exactly. vacations and things like that. Because, you see, we're looking at between 5 to 20 years mm -hmm. for financial mm -hmm. freedom. We pray mm -hmm. that we live another 20 years. Exactly. But we, we, it's not in our hands. Mm -hmm. We don't control that. So we don't have tomorrow, but we have today. Mm -hmm. So we plan for tomorrow, okay. but we also enjoy... I like that one, plan for the high <laughs> life. Let's go to Ho and speak to uh, our caller. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good, good morning. You are live on the air. Any questions for Paul? Um, good morning, brother Kafu. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm very well. What's your contribution? Uh, I just want to uh, ask that uh, I, I don't have, um, okay, let me say I'm self-employed, so how do I plan for my, my retirement? Okay, that's a very good question because a lot of people are self-employed. Yes. So thank you very much, uh, Paul. He's, they're self-employed, men and women who work yes. for themselves. Yes. What do they do? Put yourself on a salary. One, you work for yourself. It's your own business. But separate yourself from the business. In other words, don't live the life where it's my business. So I want to buy a new shoe. You dip your hands into your sales and you buy a new shoe. From the drawer. From the drawer. <laughs> it's your money. Yeah. But the first thing I would say is put yourself on a salary. Okay. That says this is my salary. And try to discipline yourself to live within that salary you've put yourself on. Number two, plan for your own pension if you are not on SNIT. Good. Because it's important. Um, you may not have, you are self-employed, but another five years, this business may not exist. So if you are self-employed, learn to milk your own business. Learn to move money out of the business and invest some. Uh, uh, put some in some uh, financial assets somewhere. It's helpful. The return will not be as high as running your own business and being self-employed. But that backup is very important. And SNIT has a provision for people like exactly. this. Exactly. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. So yes. go to SNIT. Yes. Yeah. And okay. besides SNIT, there are a number of uh, uh, pension fund trustees okay. that you could talk to and they, they, they can help very Let's helpful. go back to the lines again. Yeah. Good morning. You're live on GH1 TV. We are talking about money matters. Is that Mercy? Uh, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Nelson, hi. What's your question for Paul, please? Yeah, I want to know uh, if you are, let's say, taking... That's under Ghana cities a month. Yes. How well would you be able to save? 500 Ghana cities. Yeah. How Old 5 million. Month, how much would you, how would you be able to save? How would you be able to save? Money? Okay, all right. Let's, let, let, let's... The economic, the economic situations. Ghana. Yes. Yeah, good question. Paul, so listen, uh, is there <laughs> a money, an, an amount of money that you earn that is too little for you to save? No. There is none. And people are going to pick me on on this, but it's okay. You can save with 500, 200, yes. 100. I would say that um, start with the 10, 20, 70 principle. Okay. Pay tight of 10% if you believe in tightening like mm -hmm. I do. If you don't, still give 10% to society. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter your salary level. Put 20% away okay. into investment. And 70, you live on the 70. And live on the 70. 10, 20, 70. Let's yes. go to another caller. Yeah. Good morning. Ago, you are live on GH1. Hello. Yes, please lower the volume in your television set. Speak to me through the phone. Ask uh, Paul a question. Hello. Hello. I can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, Kathy, my name is John. I'm calling from Tepa. Okay, John, go ahead. 
Because I'm a mining worker, and um, I've been deducted, uh, let's say, uh, 1,000 cities a month to okay. do this uh, pension scheme. Mm -hmm. But my challenge is that when, when it comes to that, at the end of the day, they will deduct me all right. But at the end, getting the money back, that's where my challenge is. Sometimes I let you go to court and this kind of thing. You find a lawyer, by the end of my day, you got to be all right. But how to get the money back, that's where my program is. Okay, so, you are, so you, your company is making deductions that. and you want access to those deductions. Is that your question? Yes, please. All right, thank you very much. Paul. So I would say for if you're a worker and uh, you have deductions on your account going into a pension fund, mm -hmm. whether it's SNET or a second tier or a third tier, you have a responsibility to make sure that you are getting statements. Good. It's your money. Yes. Follow up. You don't be passive mm -hmm. when it comes to making mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. It's your money. Follow up. I pick statements every month. You must know what is happening you, to your cash. You must know what is happening to your cash. Because, I mean, there are some companies, not all companies, there are some companies that do these distractions. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And they don't pay to these trustees or to, into a provident fund. So even though the deduction leaves your uh, uh, salary, that money may be still sitting with the company. They have deducted but it never invested. So you have a responsibility to make sure that I want to see my statement and I want to see that deduction reflected so on my statement. So chase it up. Be yes. active about yes, your money. Active, Let's take a last yeah. caller from Tamale. Good morning. Um, Good morning, sir. You are live. Paul Mante is here. What is your question related to money? Thank you very much. Yeah. My question is, It's a big question. There's a dramatic pause. Are you coming? Question is gone. Okay. Anyway, Paul, so, so, so wrap it up for us. Uh, we are kind of concluding this conversation. But just re repeat those keys again. Yes. You have to plan for your retirement. So there are two, only two keys mm -hmm. we, we managed to share within the time we have. One is a decision needs to be made mm -hmm. with reference to today. Mm -hmm. If you've never made it, 23 April mm -hmm. 2018. Mm -hmm. And number two is you need to be deliberate okay. and plan for your future decide and be deliberate yes and those five things that you need to be planning for is one retirement good two housing mm -hmm. three your children's education mm -hmm. number four if you don't have children if you don't have children it's fine plan for the children plan for the children that will come <laughs> okay <laughs> i've been a little biased because <laughs> because you have children yes, yes. but once you have children mm -hmm. you need to plan mm -hmm. for the children mm -hmm. number four plan to give back to society mm -hmm. And number five, plan for high life. Indeed. Chop life small. Chop life small. And yeah. then you had a 10, 20, 70 formula. Yes. For yeah. those who didn't hear, 10% yes. of your yeah. money goes where? So that is another key mm -hmm. for another day. Mm -hmm. Paying yourself every month. Mm -hmm. So your salary is not what is given to you by your employer. Mm -hmm. Because out of that salary, your landlord will take part, mm -hmm. MTN will take part, mm -hmm. the <laughs> taxi driver will take part of that salary and all that. Your salary is what you are able to keep out of what you call salary. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying 20% of that minimum mm -hmm. must be yours to keep every month. Okay. And the 10% is what you give to society or for your diet. Uh, exactly. And 70% manage it. You will not die. Fantastic. Yeah. Paul Kofi Mante deals with money. You know, mm -hmm. the professional level. He teaches about money as well. And he's written books. You can actually go look for his books. Where can we find your books, Paul? Um, challenge bookshop okay. a number of shelf filling stations or go to Facebook Paul Coffee Mante okay. just send a message okay. somebody will respond okay. and will deliver books to you and your Mante has no why has no why okay. M-A-N-T-E couple of messages from yeah. Seth Witte after meeting Paul about four years ago I'm getting rich day by day he has yeah. really changed my life with his books and financial advice Enoch Owusi Golden Era International School Soul to him says good morning there's nothing too late nothing too early financial security against old age is very crucial we don't have to compromise on that another one Financial percent is only for the zero point. Financial independence is only for the zero point zero one percent of the population. That for the majority, true. this is elusive as any savings is eroded that and is therefore not, not sustainable. For my being inside is, family, it's not true. That is not true. It's for everybody. It's for everybody. Everybody can it's save. It's for everybody. Mm -hmm. And I have clients who are plumbers, who are electricians, all kinds of people. Thank you. Yeah. So it's for everybody. It's never true. You see the point I made earlier. On? Yes. Once you take this posture. The mind goes to sleep because you know that it is not possible. It is so, so it is possible. It is possible. And finally, somebody wants to get your number. Is it possible? Yes. Okay. Please yeah. give it to them. Uh, 
or later yes they should call they should call in all right yeah and then we'll share all right then. so you like, let us yeah. know we'll send you the number yeah. by whatsapp paul yeah. i really thank you so much thank you Kaf. thank you <laughs> please stay with me we'll chat some more <laughs> let's go for the traffic check right now here on gh1 tv let's find out what the situation is happening uh, around this uh, capital of ours as far as traffic is concerned traffic check right now Okay, this is the traffic check. We are at the ring road right now. Real-time pictures. The left takes you into Nima and all those areas. Right takes you to Asylum Down, straight down to Osu. It's, the coast is clear. Yeah, but don't overspeed. I beg you. Coast is clear. Wear your seatbelt. Don't drink any alcohol. We need you alive. That's your ring road traffic check. From there, we are going to the Bama Camp area. It's, it's, it's clear. Uh, at least on one side. The side going to uh, 37 is not that clear, but going towards Trade Fair is sweet. So we like it.